What's happening? It's Chris from Hair Loss from Steroids, and I'm going to answer a very frequently asked question, although that's plural questions, the differences between Region Pure, DR, which stands for Doctor Recommended, and Region Pure, NT, which is Nourishing Treatment. Okay. We're going to keep this very basic, just so you guys can know the differences between them. And I'm just going to go off the questions that I'm usually asked. Region Pure DR is the hair loss shampoo, the anti-hair loss shampoo. It contains an ingredient called ketoconazole, which this one doesn't contain. But DR contains ketoconazole, which is clinically proven to inhibit DHT. Okay, In the clinical studies that are kind of the most uh, shared out there, um, it was comparable, okay, so using a ketoconazole shampoo for an entire year, all right, is comparable to being on 2% minoxidil all year. Now, people think minoxidil and they might think, oh, well, that's hair growth. I didn't, like you said, it's an anti-hair loss, hair loss prevention shampoo. Well, minoxidil actually is effective against um, androgenic alopecia from the actual thinning of hairs, and it can keep hair on your head. I always cite a study that um, basically for 12 months, okay, a group of guys, I think there was uh, 20, 30 plus, something like that, they measured how much hair they were losing in the shower from washing it, okay? So they started out at 69.7, it's an average, hairs lost from washing, okay, on a daily basis. Okay, that number was cut down to 33.8. Okay, it's the most telling study I have come across to date. It's very, very specific. Um, I can put the link below actually too to it. Um, and you know, ever since I saw that study, I have not pretty much missed more than a, a few days of minoxidil. I really think it is good for that. So ketoconazole should be as um, you know as good as minoxidil, two percent. Now the five percent is the stronger one, but um, Either way, you know, it, it is breaking up some of that DHT that, you know, that finasteride, if you're using that, you know, isn't getting to. So definitely recommend this for hair loss. It has aloe vera, okay? And that is different than, say, Nizerol or something like that. That's the original ketoconazole shampoo that's actually meant for dermatitis, okay? It's a dandruff shampoo, so it's harsh. This one contains the harsh ingredient ketoconazole, but it's surrounded with goodies like, um, well, the first ingredient is diionized water, okay, and then aloe vera, and um, different wheat protein. So it's it's pretty hair friendly. This is the hair loss shampoo. Do not buy this and expect you know a reduction in hair loss. So with that said, this guy is a high quality shampoo. There's no doubt about it. It has all the good ingredients in it. And I'll tell you how and why I actually do use it. I use a bunch of shampoos, but I'll tell you how I use it and how people can use it at home. It is kind of a hair growth shampoo. Now, there's a lot of confusion kind of out there um, if a hair growth shampoo is um, good for hair loss. And a lot of people, you know, those energizing shampoos or something, uh, there's no reason to name names, but... There's only one shampoo or ingredient in shampoos, at least clinically proven these days, to cut down on hair loss. And like I said, that was ketoconazole. So if the shampoo doesn't have that, it's not a hair loss shampoo. Okay, Hair growth shampoos, they're nice. They're always usually high quality. Do they speed up hair um, growth? Maybe, you know, like, like a 10% type of thing. But you do want your hair looking pretty good. Okay, And that is one criticism, pretty much the only one I have about Region Pure, DR, okay, the hair loss shampoo. You put it on, you keep it on your head for four or five minutes or longer, you know, duration of the shower and you wash it out. Region Pure DR has always left my hair looking kind of flat. Now, I am perhaps in the minority in that because a lot of guys say their hair looks great after it and more power to you. But this one is right along the lines of Nioxin and Trichomin, okay? Both of those are the ones that I, that I recommend for like volumizing shampoos. Okay, make your hair look thicker, right? Trichomin is obviously the, the, the is the better one of the two, but Nioxin is certainly a um, very a much more economical one. It's it's very inexpensive these days. Um, as long as you're not buying in the salon, you shouldn't be any buying any shampoos at a barbershop or salon. They're always going to be marked up times a million. This one is comparable to that. Okay.
the NT is is very much comparable to that. Hair will look thicker after, okay? And that is why, among among other reasons, why Region Pure says for guys to use this and then follow it up with this in the shower, okay? And I concur, that's what I do anytime I use Region Pure. I do use this, like, by itself and different different stuff. Then. Every day, though, I try to get keto condoms on my, shan on my hair, whether it's this shampoo or the Lipogain shampoo. Or, um, I guess those are the only ones I use right now. But, um, I concur with that. So, if you're, if you're doing the hair loss thing and you have both of these shampoos, you want to cut down the hair loss and you want your hair looking really good after. And you trust the Region Pure products. You like how they smell. This one smells like bubble gum. It's actually, you know, if you buy it, tell me if I'm right about that. Um, it, you know, it leaves your hair looking thick. So, that is, that is the routine for that. Now, if your hair is particularly dry, okay, even though this does have aloe, and we're talking this shampoo here, the hair loss shampoo, you probably don't want to use it every day, okay? And Region Pure suggests alternating between this one and this one, okay? Rather than putting this on first and then this on second, basically alternating every other day with the two shampoos. So, and then that, that will be good too. You kind of got to test it out. Um, I'm kind of a fan because I don't get any sort of inflammation or irritation or dry scalp from ketoconazole, not even all back in the day, to use, you know, Region Pure DR every day as much as you can and really let it, really let it sit on there. You know, it, it is pretty, it's pretty much a mild shampoo with the aloe, but, you know, some people will be sensitive to ketoconazole and get this dry scalp and stuff like that from it too. So, the hair loss shampoo, that's the DR, the NT, is a nourishing treatment, and uh, I focused on how it makes your hair look. Okay, I said you know it makes it look thicker, like along the lines of trichomin and, and nioxin. But there are some other goodies in this that will probably make your hair grow a little faster. Okay, there's a vitamin B complex, uh, niacin, emu oil, which is kind of um, I've tried that on its own and it didn't do anything, but it certainly can't hurt. Uh, there's other goodies in this that people try like by themselves or are just are just like buying emi oil and putting on there buying polysorbate 80 and put it on your hair you know this is just it's a good shampoo full of all this kind of stuff caffeine is probably the ingredient that's going to make it uh grow the most and also salt palmetto okay you know my thoughts on salt palmetto okay at least taking it orally uh you have nothing to lose but it sure didn't work for me for some guys it will be pretty good and i know that some guys that have luck with it, but they're not the ones that are super prone to marrow pattern bones. They're also not the ones using androgens, okay, that being steroids. So, those are the two shampoos. The DR is the hair loss one. The NT is the high quality shampoo. You can buy them both, but don't buy the NT if you're trying to stop hair loss. Um, buy the DR for that, okay? And uh, I will drop some links below to these shampoos. Okay, I've recommended both of these going on three years. Well, certainly the DR for the hair loss one. It, it offered a really good uh, alternative to Nizoral, which is sensitive to a lot of people's scalps. Ladies, you can, or guys, if you have colored hair, both of these shampoos will be safe on it. Um, good stuff, good quality stuff. You know, Region Pure, um, believe the name is Solanaceuticals in Hillendale Beach, Florida, has produced consistently like really good stuff through the years and uh definitely give them a try if you're a fan of region pure and maybe you get the um effect like i do where you know here's a little like flat afterwards and you want to go with another one of their products it's really good it's this one the nt it lathers up a lot now the dr doesn't but this one really lathers up a lot it has like the hair proteins wheat protein so that's the volumizing effect you'll get I think it's good. I'll cut the video short before I touch 10 minutes. Take care. Um, have a good day.